is up? It is Ashley Your Gaming here, back with a new vlog, and this is something you guys have requested a lot, and that is a tattoo vlog. Now, I understand a lot of you probably don't appreciate tattoos, which I do respect, so just a free warning, if you don't like tattoos, please leave the video now, because I don't really want any comments saying, oh my god, it's gonna ruin your skin, oh, oh my god, just imagine when you're older, your skin is gonna get all wrinkly and tattoos are gonna look ugly, and stuff, because for one, I thought about all of that when I got a tattoo, so all of this is my own decision. To be honest, my tattoos don't really represent anything except the fact that I like them and I just kind of want to put them on my body. I mean, there's a few that represent my family members or there's a few that I um, got for personal reasons. I'll try to go into as much depth of why I got these tattoos and for what reason. But the first tattoo I got was this one on my shoulder right here, which says, Not all those who wander are lost. And it is an Elvish, and that was the first tattoo I got a couple of days after my birthday. And my birthday is 6th of March, so this was last year, 6th of March, I got it a couple of days after. I can't really tell you which day. But I got all my tattoos done at Tokyo Tattoo in Cheltenham, so hit them up if you guys want to get your tattoos done there. Really good, really reasonable, I really like them, so... Okay, so the second tattoo I got was... What's the second tattoo I got? I actually can't remember this now. I'm pretty sure it was... This one, I'm gonna try, try my arm here. So this one right here, and that one says Lucky in kanji, and that was the second tattoo I got along with this one here, which is the yin yang symbol. Now, I got Lucky because I kind of figured after what like everything I've been through, I'm really lucky with how my life is right now, so I kind of wanted to put it on my arm to just kind of like remember what I went through and remember how lucky I am right now to have what I have. Um, the tattoo I got after that is this diamond here, which is for my grandma, along with this tattoo here, which says, always, you can't really see it, it's not, oh, there, there we go, always, it is the Deathly Hallows symbols, then it's supposed, basically supposed to say always, to be honest. Oh, it's not, hi. <laughs> the tattoo I got after that was this one on my arm here, this one here, which is triangles, it's nothing to do with Illuminati or anything, I just kind of got triangles because I like the whole geometrical symbol kind of thing. And then after that, I got this one on my leg, here. Now this is a wolf in a dream catcher. I'll probably stand up to see you guys and see about it. So here we go. It is a wolf in a dream catcher. That one that took five hours. That one took five hours. So the jewels on my tattoo basically represent my family. So the red one is me. The pink one is my sister, my twin sister Tara. The orange one is, I think it was my grandma I got the orange one for because my I couldn't really ask my grandma because my grandma doesn't like tattoos. The yellow one is my mom. The blue one is my um, older sister, and then the green one is for my dad. So that's kind of representing just my family, I guess, because I kind of wanted them to be there. Um, the tattoo I got after that is this one on my arm, which is a rose with some jewels and feathers dangling down. This one was the most painful, because up here it goes right into a crack here, which is really, really sensitive, and I don't know. I don't know why it's sensitive there, but it's just really sensitive in this area here, and it was really painful. I would probably say about a 9 out of 10, it was that painful. I mean, the one on my leg, I guess I'll go through kind of like the pain tolerance as well with these. So, this one was about a 3 out of 10, the one up here, 3 out of 10, I mean, these were kind of like 3 out of 10. Everyone, all my small tattoos were basically 3 out of 10, they didn't hurt at all. But this one was a 9 out of 10 because of the crack up here, the one on my leg was probably about 7 out of 10 because of all the shading they had to do. Um, then I have another one which is on the back of my leg. I'm trying to think of, like, go in order. So the one on my back of my leg is that one right here. I don't know if you guys can see it properly. It's really hard to do this. Eh. Yeah, the one on the back of my leg right there. It is the paramal symbol. Now this one has a kind of story behind it. So ever since I was younger, I've been listening to paramal and stuff like that. And they kind of were the ones that I'd go back home to um, and be like, hey... I'm gonna go listen to Paramore to get rid of all the, ignore all the bullying and stuff like that. So that's why I had that one. Um, it's kind of special to me, I guess. But a lot of you are probably just like, oh, why would you get a band tattoo? That's disgusting. Although a lot of people do say it looks like the maker tattoo or the maker symbol. I'm just like, no, no, it's a it's a Paramore tattoo. I'm sorry to disappoint you. And then the one I got after that is this one on my shoulder, which is my most recent one. <laughs> Yeah, do, do, do. This is my most recent tattoo. Now it's basically the same as the one on my arm. It is two roses with feathers and um, when I go back in August I'm getting some jewels and stuff on them so 
looks even a little cooler, but the way I want my tattoos to go is I want to sleep. A lot of people do say to me, you know, think about it before you get it, and I'm just like, fine, I always think about the tattoos before I get them. Do I really want them? Is it something I personally want to get? Is it something I like? So for everybody that's watching this video and is just like, I want to get a tattoo, think about it first, don't go straight into it. All of my tattoos is something that I wanted and I took a couple of months to go and look at them and see which one I wanted and then eventually go to the tattoo parlor and be like, hey, I want this, can you help me? Um, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. There'll be more videos coming out soon of vlogs and stuff like that. I hope you guys do like this kind of setup that I have here. But I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.